We just docked in Zadar, Croatia. There's a ship right there. I don't know what that is. But GNV Rhapsody, not Rhapsody of the Seas. <laughs> but way in the background there is the old town of Zadar, I believe. There's a shuttle that Royal Caribbean oh, yeah. has scheduled for us. I think they said that the shuttle will take 15 minutes to get to the old town. Or they said if you're a walker, you can walk one hour to get from the ship to the old town. Yeah. So today we're doing this Royal Caribbean excursion. Uh, we're going to Kirka National Park. What's interesting is you could actually do this excursion from Split Croatia, that's where we were yesterday, or you could do it from Zadar. It's actually 15 minutes closer to Zadar than it is Split. So you save a little bit of time on the bus doing it from Zadar. And what we're excited about, it looks like there's a really cool waterfall that we yeah. get to hike to. And I feel like it's gonna be so different from like all the other excursions we have planned for this cruise. Yeah, we so. don't really know exactly because this was a last minute booking that we made. So we think it's a hike, but we're not really sure. Well, we're gonna find out today. So the reason why this uh, was a last minute excursion that we booked is because right before the cruise, as we were getting on our flight um, to Italy, we got an email from Royal Caribbean saying that um, our day in Bari, Bari, Italy, Bari, Italy, has been replaced with Kadar. Nope, Zadar. Oh yeah, Z <laughs> uh, replaced with Zadar, Croatia, um, because the water in Bari was too shallow. I've never heard of that. No, it's pretty crazy. We had a whole day planned in Bari, but we were really excited about it. It was one yeah. of our top ports for this cruise. But I'm just glad that we're getting a another port day instead of a day at sea today. Me too, because they very well could have said, like, enjoy your day at sea. But no, they gave yeah. us another port, so I'm right happy off. about that. I'm excited that it's another Croatian port too. And I feel like we found a really cool excursion to do. Yeah. Also, I know that I pack a lot, okay? I pack a lot of clothes. I bring a lot of suitcases. They're heavy. But it's reasons like this that I have to do that, yeah. because now I have a perfect hiking outfit and I just had that plan. We weren't supposed yeah. to go hiking, but now we are. We're stopping at Cafe Promenade for a quick little breakfast on our way to our meeting point, which is the theater. I got a chocolate croissant. I got yeah. a vanilla danish and a cinnamon roll. It smells like tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> but we are off the ship. We're with our group and now we're heading to the bus. Feels pretty good. I was a little worried I'd be chilly, so I have my jacket, you know, my just No, it's actually, jacket. it actually is like chilly. But like, not so chilly that I'm like, <laughs> Okay, so Carrie lied. Yeah, I did lie. I'm sorry. It's windy. It's cold now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I tried to be brave. <laughs> we finished up our bus ride. It took an hour and 10 minutes. I was starting to fall asleep at the end. But we're here. We're at Kirka National Park. And look, there's already some rushing water. So like, yeah. we've basically seen it all already. Okay, we just started our walk and so far, this looks really cool. Look how clear the water is. I can clearly see a thousand fishies and like gorgeous green and like rushing water everywhere and these beautiful old buildings. So we have a tour guide and we're basically going to be following him around the whole park here. Okay, I think we're going to get a really good lookout point right here. Whoa. Wow. Whoa, this is cool. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. I think this is the main waterfall area. This is gorgeous. Because this is amazing. And if it's not, then I'll be shocked that there's come. more. Yeah. This is so crazy. This is beautiful. Look how cool this is. <laughs> and we weren't even supposed to be here today. Like we were supposed to be in Bari. And yeah. now like look at what we have. This is awesome. They even have this little lookout area right here. Although I think the other spot was better. Yeah, because this one has like a tree branch. Yeah. If you want a little foreground in your picture, then I guess this is for you. But yeah, it's still cool though. So you get to see over here. Yeah. Well, oh, there's one right here too. Oh, wow. This lookout point was their first stop of our tour. So we still have our like two hour hike to go. Let's get some ice cream. Oh, there's some burgers and ice cream over here. Oh, wow, gelato. Okay, this is, what a sight. The best sight I've seen all day. Yeah, that's the best. Oh, also there's another cat. Oh, hi baby, I love you. I love Croatia. Look at this, look at this. It looks amazing. I didn't know uh, Croatia had scenery Sights like this. and scenery, yeah, yeah. I thought it was just the cities, the I, old in my head, cities. I, just, I only pictured Dubrovnik. <laughs> Me too. Game of Thrones. Yeah. This wasn't in Game of Thrones. 
actually it was. It was? So Kirkland National Park actually was in Game of Thrones in season four, episode three. Oh, I remember it so well. Arya Stark and the Hound uh, across the Riverlands. So the Kirka River and Kirka National Park is, I guess, the Riverlands in Game of Thrones, which is pretty cool. The more you know. So basically every um, Croatian port we're going to Has is, a is a Game of Thrones filming location. I can see it all, you know? Yeah. So our tour guide told us that basically the whole park or the whole trail that we're walking is on these wooden paths here. So it's not really much of a hike. Like, it's it's a path. But um, this is amazing. Oh, what the fuck, I found this up. We made it to this other lookout point. That's where we started on the other side over there. Now we're on the other side of it. Look how like, I like far the... down it is. Too. And it's so clear, too. Like, you can yeah. see all the rocks that are down there. That's pretty cool. So our tour guide was talking about how there's a really poisonous snake in the, these areas and they call it a jumping snake. Yeah. But the snake doesn't actually jump, it just falls from the trees. And he was saying like, if you get bit by the snake, your cruise is over because you have to go to the hospital, blah, blah, blah. And at that exact moment- That he was talking about the snake. At, that he's talking about how the snakes, they don't actually jump and they just fall from the trees and people thought they were jumping. An acorn falls on my head or like a berry or something. From the sky. Like from a tree, like at that exact moment. I was like, oh my God. And I thought Ryan was just joking, but he was like, oh my God, it touched me. <laughs> I didn't think it was a snake. I knew it was like an acorn, but still it like shocked me. So this excursion was actually really cool. I had no idea what to expect because we booked this last minute. Zero expectation. I had no expectations, but I think it's really cool. I think this was amazing. It's beautiful. I think the weather really added to it because like yes. it's so gorgeous out and we're looking at these gorgeous views and like and it just feels amazing outside. Yeah, it's just and I didn't even know that Croatia had something this beautiful no. and so I'm really glad we got to see it. So now we're at this area of the <gasps> the national park. Crepe corner. Wow, there's ice cream and just um Lots of food. Corner, a drink corner. It's like a souvenir shop. A Carrie's Corner. Yeah, Carrie's Corner is Crepe Corner. We went over to the Crepe Corner. I got a Nutella crepe with bananas. Yeah. Um, there's no silverware. And so I don't really... It's a finger food. Do I just... Yeah. I got a uh, chocolate and Oreo. Oh my God. Is it good? It's very good. And then you got this bitter lemon... Schweppes. Sh what is this? I don't know. I got this really cool Croatian Fanta. I've never seen this flavor. It's blue. But it has but a it picture of like a lemon. Orange orange or lemon and flowers. Flowers. So what is this? I don't know. Could it be lavender? That'd be great. Like orange lavender? We saw a lot of lavender when we were in Split. The last time we had a fun Fanta. Was in Norway. In Norway, yeah. And it was exotic flavor. Exotic. Ooh. Lemon and elderberry flavors. All right. And it's blue. But it's blue. I have to try it. I feel like the actual drink itself wouldn't be blue. Like if you poured it into a cup, it looks like the oh, bottle just, is blue. Oh, so inside is maybe like just clear yellow or exactly. something. Exactly. Again, with the cap that you, it stays on so that you can recycle it. Yeah. You can't, you can't remove this part. Look, on the top it says like leave the cap on or whatever. And then you can like still screw it up back on so that you can recycle with this. I don't know. Carrie doesn't like these things. I don't. I think it's kind of. I think it's kind of cool. My nose has to go there, and it's like hard to put it back on. I feel like I'm touching the lid every time I put it back on. It's horrible. Mm. Good. You like it? It tastes like a flowery lemonade. I don't know if that's because I just read that. I want to taste it. You like it? This is good. I'm actually shocked because I feel like you wouldn't like elderberry. Does this have calories? It does. It's not zero sugar. You should try it. Okay. Okay, I'm on it. The bees are gonna get in just like just like in Norway. I know. This is tasty. It's like a lemonade almost. Bring this to the US. It's like a sparkling lemonade with flowers. It tastes light and refreshing, but I know that it has calories now, but it tastes like it shouldn't. That's good. Yeah. I get it. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I took out the camera and now Carrie has figured me out. They it's the Dalmatian, Dalmatian for the Dalmatia coast. Wow. He's a color that says Croatia. 
Do we need this? I don't, if, if you had to get a souvenir in Croatia, I feel like that would be the one to get. Should we get it? It's either $10 or $75. I'm not sure. It's probably 10 <laughs> The problem is it can't be a dog toy because it has like a keychain on it. Oh, and one of our pets would like choke on the chain. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is like one of those things that you set your spoon on. Yeah, why do they have so many? I don't know. I like it. Yeah. What's cool about this is that it has a split on here. We went there yesterday, Zadar, that's today. And tomorrow is Dubrovnik, so it has all three places. Should we get it? I, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I think it's eight euros. Let's get it. Okay, let's get it. This is our souvenir. Okay, we got it. What was it, eight euros? Eight euros. That's a good deal. And I think it's usable. And what I like about it is that it has all three of our Croatia stops. Yeah. Because I literally said to Brian this morning, I was like, oh, we didn't get a souvenir in Split yesterday. Yeah. Now this is our souvenir for all three of our Croatia stops. Unless we see something tomorrow. Right. How weird of an item that it's like a... Um, this is not something that you, you see every a day. A spoon holder. What, what's it called? I don't know, a spoon holder. I don't know, it's <laughs> called something else. It feels like something that like... You have to clean by hand. You can't put this in your dishwasher. <laughs> oh no. I know. It's cool. What if I just dropped it and it broke? That'd be funny. That'd be so funny. Okay, we made it to the grand finale. Our tour guide said this was the grand finale. And I think I understand why. It's yeah. gorgeous. It's amazing. I'm not even sure where we are. I don't think we saw this. This no. isn't the same waterfall that we saw at the beginning of the I think trail. we're at the bottom of it. Like if we go up more, that's where we were yeah. before. Yeah, so we didn't see this when we first started the trail. No, yeah. so very lovely really here. Cool. Okay, we got back on the bus. The bus took us all the way back to where the ship is, but- We got right back on another bus. Yeah, because the um, right near the ship is a- um, shuttle. Shuttle, that yeah. That takes you to the downtown, like, old town area of Zadar. Yeah, so that's the shuttle right there. A lot of people in line trying to get back into, back to the ship, but we just got here. Um, but what we're standing on here is a bunch of solar panels, and apparently at night this lights up with all the energy it's stored from oh, the sun. Oh, that's what this is. Yeah, but I, I don't think we're going to be able to see it at night. No. Because we're probably going to be leaving in a couple hours. Yeah, we have to be back on board at 4.30. And it's like 2, it's 2.30 right now. We don't have a lot of time, Yeah. especially with this line. But I hear, I hear the sea organ. You hear it? Yeah. So down here, it's awesome that the bus dropped us off right over here. Because down over here is the sea organ. And no, it's not like an organ, like a something in your body that functions. But it plays music. Functions. It's like an organ as in like an instrument. And apparently these steps are supposed to make music with the waves. Oh, I just got splashed. Me too. Okay, the organ can splash you, but this is, um, the waves are supposed to make music on this thing. I don't hear it. I heard it a little bit. Does it, does it come out of these, these holes here? Maybe. Make the music. I can hear it. Okay. Oh, you hear it? You can, you, I can hear it. Windy. Oh, you can hear it. They really are coming out of these. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I can totally hear it down here. So it's like the, the waves and the air pressure is like pushing air and... I love it. Yeah. It's my new favorite song. Oh, you can really hear it right there. Yeah. It's actually kind of hard to hear it with the wind. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really windy today. Um, and the wind is actually why we have to be back at 4.30. We were supposed to leave at like seven or eight, but they said there's a storm coming and, and, and it's gonna have really high winds. So we have to leave at 4.30 instead. Can you even hear us right now? I don't know. So on Google Maps, this is called the Pillar of Shame. And I really like that name, especially if you've seen Game of Thrones where they just go, shame, shame. Yeah. I don't think that this has anything to do with that. But... No, but we'll see where they did that tomorrow. Yeah. But this whole place is kind of like, what is this? 
Uh, that's called like a Roman Forum, which if you, like in Rome, there is the Roman Forum. So it's interesting that there is another Roman Forum. So this is the Kirkvas Fudinata. And it is a sizable pre-Romanesque Catholic church. Pre-Roman. Well, Pre-Roman, and Roman is really old. Large, ornate church with a bell tower. And there's gelato behind it. Wow. It's kind of funny how a pre-Roman or a Roman built something like this. And I just want to be like, hey, Brian, take my picture. Look. It's sad. Isn't that kind of sad? Yeah. Let's eat ice cream on it. I think we should. What's more offensive? <laughs> All of it's offensive. This area is like a garden of pillars or... Look at this guy's face. Yeah. It feels like um, in the Hercules movie that like the women would be like standing on these things. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. They found these chunks and then they like put them in like a garden. That's what I think it is. It's a garden of like found artifacts. Okay. Or found like ruins. Because I was thinking like... It seems kind of crazy how perfectly laid out they are. They are like it must be a graveyard, but no, I think it's like it's just like on display. Yes, it's like a museum. Yeah. Okay, we're we're in the heart of Old Town now. I think it's this way. Yeah, but it looks really cool. It's kind of like a more modern split right now. But we're like in between all the buildings. Yeah. And oh, there's ice cream. That looks good. Oh, look at that ice cream. That looks good. It looks really good. Maybe we do that on our way back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> We're hunting for some food because all I had was really that crepe. Yeah, and we barely had breakfast. We had like yeah. one pastry. Yeah, so I'm starving. We're looking for something quick though. There's a lot of table service restaurants, but wait, are you kidding me? More ducks. There's more ducks. What's up with the ducks? I wonder if this is where the duck thing started on cruise ships. Uh, I don't think so. Do you think the duck shops started because of the cruise ships? I don't, I don't know. It feels pretty now that we're like walking in the in the city. Yeah. Look, there's a gate. Oh, wow. So this place. This seems like the People's oh. Square. Yes. Oh, my God. It really. Whoa. Holy crap. This is like the People's Square. I did see online that there was another People's Square here in Zadar. We might have found it. Yeah, this might be it. All of, all of the umbrellas fell over because of how windy it is. Oh or they're God. taking them down. I'm not sure. Am I smelling the submarine? We're going to check out this place. Submarine. Let's look at the menu. It smells good. It does smell really good. Let's just do it. Okay. Okay, you haven't been to Croatia until you've had the fries. That's what they say. That's what I say. Nobody actually says that. No, but that's what we say. Okay, so we got some sliders. This is like a variety of flavors. This one's barbecue smokehouse because there's barbecue sauce. This one's Italian because I see pesto. And so I think that leaves this one as the classic. But look at these. This is, this is uh, cheese fries, loaded fries. I want to try it's this cheese. sauce because they yeah. said it's like a submarine sauce. What is it? It's cheese and also submarine sauce. Is it good? I think submarine sauce might be like Thousand Island. It's tasty. You're going to like it because it's kind of like ranch. The fries look fresh cut. Mm -hmm. You can see the, the layer of cheese on the bottom and the sub sauce is on top. I told Brian, like, I don't want the loaded fries. They look like they're cheesy, but the cheese yeah. looks good. That's why we had to get two because I was like, I want cheese fries. And Carrie was the like, cheese, no. The cheese looks good. <laughs> I'm going to eat my cheese fries with a fork because that's what the Croatians do. Of course. It was actually really, really good. Yeah. Um, way better than yesterday. I agree. This is. This is really, really good. They're tasty. Yeah. And it is like Thousand Island dressing, I think. Yeah. It's like Big Mac sauce with cheese, yeah, which is yeah. actually really good. Yeah. Their pesto is the best, though. <laughs> is it actually? It's good. Is the burger good? I hardly got any burger. It was mostly pesto. Okay, but it was the but best. Of... Okay, that place was amazing. The burgers were really, really good. Just two Americans eating burgers and fries. What could be oh, more beautiful. iconic? How typical, how disgusting. <laughs> so we're walking back to the ship now, or not to the ship, but to the shuttle point. We don't have much time left, but here's the, um, what was that thing called again? We'll just call it the church, the church we saw earlier. Yeah. Oh my God, there's ice cream right here. I, 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 there's ice cream everywhere. We were just saying like, we don't have time and we're too full. Well, that's what Brian was saying. I wasn't saying that. Oh. Look at the ones with Snickers bars in them. <laughs> 
Yeah. With a wrapper, Hi. wrapper and all. Yeah. Oh wow. The cookie one. This is insane. Again, they have a Kinder flavor. Should we get this? Yeah. Okay, so we ended up getting it. Whoops. <laughs> Mine is cookie flavored. I haven't taken a bite yet. Wait, this is the best one I've gotten so far. It tastes like a little bit like birthday cake, like ice cream, like cake flavored ice cream. Hmm. It's so good. Oh look, there's another place. That's the the Bobbis. Oh, that's what we had yesterday on the way home from. Was dinner. that the same one? Yeah, because oh. I I pronounced it Bobbies. Oh. <laughs> and there's another place. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. This is insane. <laughs> Here's another place. So don't get your gelato too soon because. You need to make decisions. In the span of five minutes, we've just passed three different places. There's another place. Oh wait, no, four. <laughs> that's another place right there. Oh my god. I got the Snickers. Um, he didn't get any wrappers in it. Thank God. I stole that joke from Carrie when he was scooping it. <laughs> Carrie said that. So I stole it. Uh, this one was 30 cents more. So this was 2 30 instead of $2. Wow. I think it was because we got it in a cup, but he put like three scoops into one cup. So it's worth it. How is it? I think yesterday was better. All right. It does taste like a Snickers though. That's good. Which is what you want, I guess. In a Snickers flavored gelato. gelato, yeah. This is where it's at. If you like birthday cake flavored ice cream. This is pretty good. Is it starting to drizzle? Oh, let's get out of here. Wow. Whoa. So, that bell just rung, and this is the exact spot we said we shouldn't be eating ice cream on top of. Yeah, here, let me recreate the moment. Perfect. This wasn't planned. How disrespectful. <laughs> I can hear him. Yeah. Okay, we can definitely hear the organ, the sea organ. It's like calling us back to the shuttle. We can, it, it's so much more clear now, I think, because it's like. The wind is gone, yeah. <laughs> Sounds cool. It does. Sounds like a song my dad would want to listen to in his car. It's interesting how um, the benches almost look like keys as well. Oh, I feel like that was definitely done on purpose. Oh, I mean, there, it goes like three, four. Yeah. Okay, the line to get back to the... It's non-existent. So we played this right. It's probably because everybody, everybody's already back on board. Yeah. I mean, we have like an hour to get back on board. We're doing the same thing that we did yesterday. Yeah. Okay, we made it back to our room. We're sitting on our balcony. They dropped off. A beautiful plate of pastries. I don't know why, but it was just in our room, so I'll take it. And I will but, eat it. <laughs> yeah. But we um, stopped by Cafe Promenade and we noticed it has like a Roman forum theme, just like what we saw. It's kind of cool. Oh, we're getting an announcement. But yeah, I think we're just gonna chill out here in our balcony and in our room until dinner time. We're about to pull away, I think, any second now. I had a good day in Zadar today. Yeah. I like the national park. Yeah, I like that. That was my favorite. I like that a lot more than the old town. We didn't spend much time in the old town, so. Wait, whereas yesterday, I liked the old town more than the excursion. Right. Today was the opposite. Yep. <laughs> so we can now see the sea organ. We can see the sea organ. That's the tower we were at before. And uh, on the left is the area where the sea organ was. But we're sailing away now. Bye, Zadar. We're on our way out of Zadar, and you can see how close it is to split. Also, the land it looks really interesting there but anyway before we go to dinner um we noticed something new in the app at least i think it's new we've never seen this before right no so this says stateroom requests are just a tap away um and it says if you need ice um a blanket towels a paper cruise compass which is important i love that or anything you can hit this button um because one of the things is refill the shower dispenser. Which is what we want. Which is what we need because for some reason, 
ours is empty. Wait, but I also want a Blinky, because I really? love Blinkies. Please, 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 please. I love extra Blinkies, all the extra yeah. Blinkies. So right there is the blanket. So Brian's going to talk about it just for me. It's like me. we're adding this to a cart. There's a lot of options on this. Um, Medical fridge, pillow, pool towel. That's wait, where's the refill shower? It's on the next. Okay, so go up. There's a tab right here for request service. So there's request items and request oh. service. I'm going to hit submit. Let's see okay. what happens. Someone knocks on our door immediately. Yeah. Got it. We'll be there in about 30 minutes to one hour. To an hour. We're going to leave the cool. room. Yeah, because we're going to dinner, so. So hopefully, like, we don't have to be here. Hopefully, they can just come in and do it. I'm sure they can break down the door. <laughs> Good. But I think that's a really cool feature because I don't want to talk to anybody. It's such a nice perk. And it I've is. never noticed that before, ever. And I feel bad, like, making requests, like, like to fill the shower stuff. And, like, I don't know. Yeah. It just feels wrong. So I like that they've added that. It's cool. Okay, for dinner tonight, we're doing the Windjammer. And the Windjammer has a theme of dinner every single night. Tonight's theme... Savor la France. French food. So this will be interesting to see what they have. Okay, they actually had a surprising amount of French food. I liked it all though. Like, I feel like we got some good options. Yeah, so, good. potato croquettes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's mostly potato on my plate right basically now. Basically French fries. Because then I have mashed potatoes and yeah. baked potatoes. So three different <laughs> forms of potatoes. Yeah. And then I got like almond uh, green beans. Okay. And then this is a chicken cordon bleu. Yeah. And then just like a cut of steak. Mm -hmm. And then some sort of nice fruit tart thing. Yeah. I got um, the chicken cordon bleu, mashed potatoes, the potato. What is it? Cro Croquette? Croquette. And then this was, what was this thing? What Croque is madame, I Croque madame. It was like. It looked too messy for me. It looked amazing. I was like, I have to get that. Oh, I got this chocolate thing too. Chocolate cake or something. Chocolate thing. Mmm. Those are good. Yeah. It's like, what if you had mashed potatoes, but it was coated like a french fry? For tonight's dinner time question, we have something from the Davis Zone. And their question is, what is the worst excursion you've done and really wished you never paid for? It's the Swimming with Pigs excursion in Coco Key. Um, that's the only excursion we're really, we didn't like. But that's just our opinion. And a lot of people online reviews online and comments people really liked that excursion so maybe maybe it's just us there were people even on the same excursion as us that were coming off the boat saying like how much they loved it yeah. so on our yeah on our boat going back to coco key people were raving about the excursion but why but didn't so, we like it that much so we didn't like it but that's just the reason we didn't like it is basically like in our head we thought it was going to be an island where you can walk around the beach and go in the water and swim with the pigs but it's really just like four different lines where you go and get your photo with the pig and like it's not really like a free roaming thing right you can't bring your own camera or take your own photos or whatever so it was like my expectations didn't meet the reality of what it was it's also very expensive it was over a hundred dollars per person plus twenty dollars a photo seems so expensive for what it is but i think that's the only excursion that i would place on this list of like ones that i wish i never paid for i think every other excursion we've done i've enjoyed yeah and um this food was really good. Yes. French night was awesome. Everything we had was good and really hot and tasty. So hot, so fresh. Yeah. That's not usually what you say about a buffet, but this was amazing. I mean, the chicken cord on blue was sizzling. Yeah. On the like when I took it off, it was sizzling and it was really. When good. When I put it in my mouth, I was like, "Ouch, this hurts." It's no, there was multiple things I was I was eating and it was like it burned me. Hot. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. <laughs> um, my chocolate dessert was really good too. I think I want second dessert. Yeah. I had like a fruit tart and it was delicious, so I want more. Okay. Will we have a Vegas? <laughs> oh no. But. Oh wait, yes there is. Where? <gasps> I like that he realized that we were like creating a collection yeah, over this here. Yeah, Gus Garden. And he's like, let me just add him straight to the garden. This is the family. This is the family room. This is, this is our family. Yeah. We have four children. <laughs> we really thought we didn't have one at first, but it's the swan. You know what he did? Um, or is that the turkey? I was going to say turkey. Oh, yeah, that's the turkey. Never mind. Thanksgiving's coming up. You know what? It kind of looks like the NBC logo. Mm-hmm. It's a peacock then. Yeah. 
let's call it a peacock. But so remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The blanket. We requested the blanket. Let's go check yeah. the bathroom. Oh, we got our compass as well. Yeah, let's see if he if he did this. Is that full? Okay, yes. Wait, is this one full? Let's see. Yes. Wow. <laughs> he did put more in there. I like the use of but, that, but that app like, thing. But he didn't fill it to the brim. Do you think he was laughing at us? And he was like, why do you need a blanket when you already I have a blanket? I, I just need blankets galore, you know? I was against this idea, by the way, of another blanket. Four thousand blankets and then I'll be happy. <laughs> I remember this blanket from my childhood of cruising because I swear they used to put this like standard with the bed. And I also feel like this is a thing with all hotel rooms. I, I agree. Not all, just I was going to say all hotels, yeah. Because now every hotel has gone to just the comforter sheet thing and they used to have this. Type I think of you're right. And they've gone away with it and that's what makes me bring my own blanket everywhere, but now I get to have blankets galore. Blankets on blankets on blankets. But wouldn't you rather have that blanket? Of course. This one's so much fun and it has this beautiful logo and I see Wait, which one's softer though? This one is ten times softer. Oh, okay. It's like it's like It's sandpaper compared to a dog's <laughs> freshly um freshly groomed dog. freshly groomed dog fur. and they use like leave-in conditioner on the dog so it's like yeah. extra soft no it's actually soft, softer than a, a freshly groomed dog yeah and that's a fact okay but we will see you tomorrow in another stop in croatia this time it's dubrovnik aka king's landing <laughs> if you know what that is and i will sit on the throne <laughs> you already did yesterday i'll do it again <laughs>